What's happening my curious bunch of health fanatics? There is now science that indicates that being cold can promote longevity. There are many animals that appear to live longer when exposed to lower temperatures. The Marin Biological Laboratory in Massachusetts has shown that even through exposing model organisms such as rotifers to colder temperature, there was a mean increase in lifespan from 6% to 100%. The results also concluded that genes played a big part in how much the cold would extend lifespan. A particular theory on aging is known as the free radical theory on aging. Free radicals are caused by metabolic activity or rogue electrons. The cold temperature theory predicts that colder temperatures reduce metabolic activity and therefore reduce the number of free radicals that go on to cause cellular decay and death. However, I personally cannot recommend you subject yourself to cold temperatures. I am not your medical practitioner and everyone will deal with cold temperatures differently. If you are not sure how to keep yourself from freezing to death, then you should get professional advice first. So always chat with your doctor about data you see online. You don't have to be super cold though. Do not walk down the road in your jocks whilst it's minus 30 outside. You just need to be cold enough for your skin to react for a few minutes. Even a cold shower can have a beneficial effect. Ice baths and cryotherapy chambers are also becoming very popular. Cryotherapy in particular can assist with muscle pain and joint pain and also muscle disorders, including arthritis, and has been implicated in faster wound healing. However, more research is needed. Lower inflammation has also been implicated, but again, much more research is needed on this. However, if it is possible that cryotherapy can reduce inflammation, that it could also have a role in preventing or managing cancer, as cells need to be at a certain temperature to divide, and if they are cold, then more resources of the cell have to go into metabolism to stay warm, which could attenuate or slow the process of mitosis, which is cell division. Cryotherapy could also speed up weight loss by causing your cells to process more heat during the therapy, which of course means you, your body, has to plow through more fuels to generate that heat. Alternatively, the opposite may be true. Saunas and hot tubs seem to activate heat shock proteins, which can also slow down or lower sugar spikes and therefore keep your body closer to a fasting state. Fasting can induce autophagy, and I'll link to a video about autophagy at the end of this one. Again, chat with your doctor about what is right for you, but super hot temperatures are probably going to cause more problems than good, and also promote dysfunction inside the cell. So use common sense with temperature and duration when it comes to heat therapy. Keep things functional and rational, so no more than 15 minutes of heat therapy until more peer-reviewed research comes to light. Have a hot shower for five minutes, and then slowly turn down the shower temperature until it is completely cold. Stay in there for another five to 10 minutes. Do that three times a week. You will probably get used to it. And by doing that, you could be getting the best of both worlds. During summer, I never use hot water in the shower. And, and during winter, I simply turn the heat down slowly until it is totally cold. Never do hot and cold therapy if you are pregnant and always chat with your doctor about any health data you see online. If you enjoy this type of biohacking, then consider doing my course at www.scienceofaging.life because your most valuable asset is your health. So invest in your health from time to time. This course is just a series of short videos you can easily watch on your smartphone. So no study or books to read. Use the discount code, which I will link below for 30% off. That code will only work for a limited amount of time. Thump that thumbs up button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and make sure you subscribe or face the consequences of your actions. As always, stay young, stay vibrant.